Welcome to the Leaded Art Glass Museum of the Gilded Age. Back in the turn of the century, when the great wealthy industrialists of our time were commissioning companies like Tiffany, Lafarge, Mary Tillenhast, Maitland Armstrong, and we're going to show you one at a time these magnificent leaded art glass windows that graced this countryside. Here at our museum, we have over 100 extraordinary examples of leaded art glass windows of the Gilded Age. Mother and child after a French painter. A wonderful example of Tiffany Studios at its finest. This magnificent six-piece set of windows depicting a peacock in a grape arbor was once owned by the founder of the Tiffany Morse Museum, Hugh McCain. He had given it to a lifelong friend, Robert Hester III, for tending his orange groves. Here, you can see Tiffany's extensive use in drapery glass, tightly fitted in copper foil tape, gives this window a realistic look in this field of lilies. This breathtaking set of art glass windows was executed by Tiffany's largest competitor, J.R. Lamb Studios. Their participation in the Paris Exposition in 1900, Lamb Studios stands out as the creators of some of the most important works of our nation's history. This particular window here was executed by Tiffany Studios at around 1910 by Frederick Wilson. Frederick Wilson worked for Tiffany Studios for many years and designed some magnificent figural windows. The principal designer after Tiffany himself was Frederick Wilson. For over 30 years, his output and versatility was phenomenal. Several of his window designs were included in the 1893 Chicago Exposition. Here is an exceptional example of a grape arbor window. Tiffany used to use molded grapes to give his windows a third dimension. In this particular window, you can see the colors are deep and rich. That is done by plating the glass in several places. Tiffany Studios, New York, depicting dogwood in one of our landscapes. Here is a very nice example of a landscape circa 1910. It reside in a girls' school on a staircase landing. It depicts youth and learning in this young birch tree shown in this beautiful three-piece triptych landscape. Tiffany glass and decorating circa 1890. This beautiful window depicting a lady in waiting on a marble bench in a garden with her cockatoo. Another nice example of Tiffany glass and decorating, Cecilia the Musical Saint, executed in drapery glass and feather glass wings. After 1900, Tiffany used copper foil tape to give his windows more of an artistic look, whereas though other companies still use the lead cane. Here's another example of Tiffany's later landscapes, where he would backplate his windows 
using ruby and cobalt flash glass, giving it a rich background. Tiffany Studios booklets boasted that its windows contained no paint, yet the most enchanting effects were obtained by dabbing splashes of yellow or red enamel in the center of flowers shown in this later landscape. Frederick Wilson's design, King David holding a harp. You can see the copper wire stretched across the top of the window. And here you can see the extensive use of drapery glass. Maltese cross using large chunk rock jewels cut out of a larger blank of glass. Tiffany Studios, circa 1910, a king's crown. In red cameo, Tiffany Studios, 1917. This is a beautiful example of a figural window by John Lafarge Glass, New York. A beautiful set of doors with an overtransom attributed to John Lafarge Glass. John Lafarge, a door set in our museum display. Signed, Tiffany Glass in decorating. An early example of a Tiffany window of a clematis on a trellis. Here in our museum display, we have over 100 watercolor studies. Agnes Northrop was one of Tiffany's leading designers. Here is a watercolor sketch for the triptych landscape window commissioned by Mr. Maris for the stairway landing of his house in Shanghai, China. The panels depict hollyhocks foxgloves, and peonies. Tiffany used confetti glass to give the appearance of shrubbery or plant life in the background of his windows. Confetti glass, this was a revival and modification of the old Venetian method of embedding bits of color glass into sheets of clear glass. Signed, Louis C. Tiffany a medallion landscape with molded jewels and chipped glass. This concludes part one of a series of films on the Leaded Art Glass Museum of the Gilded Age. The windows you have seen in this short film is just an example of over 120 displays in our museum.